a new investigation and new criticism of leadership in response to six inmate deaths and other problems at Metro Corrections. The Metro Council approved a resolution tonight expressing no confidence in the jail's director and his executive staff. WLKY Shaquille Lord brings us the latest. What has been happening over at the Department of Corrections is shocking. After six inmate deaths in 90 days, an all-time low morale, and more than 140 vacancies, the Metro Council voted unanimously Thursday night to launch a full independent investigation into the jail. In the hot seat, Director Dwayne Clark and his executive staff. And I think it's time for this body to speak up for this community and say, enough is enough. We have no confidence in our jail system, which really boils down to not the rank and file, but it boils down to Director Clark and his, his leadership team. Thank you. Now, while the vote for the investigation was unanimous by the full Metro Council, it wasn't the same for the no confidence resolution into Director Clark and his executive staff. Right now, it feels like we're giving a verdict without a trial just because we need someone to take the blame of these deaths. It was a back and forth between council members. While some agreed Director Clark should take part of the blame, others believe the problem didn't start and doesn't end with him. Passing this resolution tonight sends a dangerous message to the public. When you have six people die in a 90-day span, there has to be accountability. Ultimately, Mayor Fisher has the power to fire Director Clark, but he said several times he supports the director and his staff. But this resolution sends a message that the majority of city leaders feel the jail can't be turned around with Clark leading the way. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. And Mayor Fisher reiterated his support for Clark tonight. In a statement, he said in part, the concentration of six in-custody deaths since November is an aberration at the jail that everyone is justifiably concerned about. He called tonight's no-confidence vote an unnecessary distraction from the important efforts Director Clark and his leadership team have made to improve the conditions at Metro Corrections in this unprecedented time of challenges.